Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is How to Expand in Statistics. So in statistics and probability, much like in physics or other sciences, there are many mathematical tools and theorems that can be used to either simplify or expand certain expressions in order to perform a calculation. For this problem and this example, we're going to consider the binomial theorem, which states that if you have some polynomial here, some x plus y raised to the power n, it can be written as a sum of k going from 0 to n, which is the power, of a multiplicity factor times x raised to k times y raised to n minus k. So this multiplicity factor I should denote as a function of n and k and it's equal to n factorial divided by k factorial times n minus k factorial. This is very widely used in many fields and will be integral to the binomial theorem. So if I consider as an example x plus 1 raised to the power 2, I can actually calculate what this is using the binomial theorem and then I'm going to directly calculate this and check to make sure that the theorem holds. So what I have is n is equal to 2 so my sum is going to go from k is equal to 0 to 2 and in my multiplicity I have 2 and then k then I'm going to have x raised to the power k and y, you'll notice, is equal to 1. So if I have 1 raised to n minus k, then this term will always be equal to 1 because the base is unity. So the sum is going to be equal to 2 factorial over 0 factorial, 2 minus 0 factorial, times x to the 0, plus... 2 factorial over 1 factorial, 2 minus 1 factorial, times x raised to the power 1, plus 2 factorial over 2 factorial, and then 2 minus 2 factorial, times x raised to the power 2. 0 factorial, of course, is equal to 1. So I'm going to have 2 factorial, factorial over 2 factorial, and this is equal to 1. x raised to the 0 power is equal to 1. So for my first term, I get 1. For my second term, I have 2 factorial up top, and 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So I have 2 times x. And then finally, for my third term, I have 2 factorial divided 2 factorial, which is, which is just 1 and 0 factorial down here, which is also equal to 1. So I end up with x squared. And we see that this is indeed what x plus 1 squared is equal to. It's equal to x plus 1 times x plus 1. And this product turns out to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is how to expand in statistics.